Let's build a walk cycle with stable diffusion and control net. Good stock equals good production and good sauce. Step one is to search for a high quality walk cycle animation to serve as your stock. The goal here is to extract the key motion poses of the walk cycle from the stock animation and turn these into a template image we can feed into the canny model in control net. Begin by using the editing software of your choice to render out the walk cycle animation as a series of PNG files. Here, I'm using Adobe Premiere to do this. Here are the PNG files that were rendered out from the animation. Thankfully, we don't need all of them since each frame is repeated about four times. We only need the key motion pose frames to create the template image that will feed into the canny model in control net. Here's how we extract the key motion pose frames. Double click on the first image to open it up in Image Viewer. There is a key pose followed by duplicates and then another key pose. First key pose, duplicate one, two, three, four, second key pose, and so on. I'll fast forward the duplicate deletion process to get to the end where I've distilled this down to just the keyframes. I apologize for mixing metaphors. I mean, are we making sauce from stock or are we distilling whiskey? We were able to reduce the 145 frames down to 31, but we can cut this down even more to 15 frames and still preserve the walk cycle. We'll do this in After Effects. In After Effects, I created a new composition and loaded in the 31 PNG files from the walk cycle. So we click the left square bracket, page down twice, click Alt plus right square bracket to cut all the layers to only two frames, right click, keyframe assistant, sequence layers. Go to the end and hit the end key to mark it. Right click and trim comp to workspace. It turns out we don't need the last frame since it's a duplicate of the first and if we don't remove it, there will be a noticeable pause in the walk cycle. Now we only have 30 frames. Our goal is to create three 1024 by 512 images, each of which will have five poses for a total of 15 poses. The walk cycle I showed at the opening of this tutorial was made this way with only 15 poses. That means we should be able to eliminate half of the 30 frames and still have the animation look good enough. We'll delete every other frame and test the animation after to prove it still looks good. It's not as smooth as the original, but it works. In demoing the walk cycle here, I duplicated each of the 15 frames three times for a total of 45 frames in this comp. I did this to demo what the walk cycle would look like at the proper speed, but for the template images, we need just the 15 frames. So let's reset the comp to only 15 frames. Select all layers, left square bracket, page down just once, Zoom in to drag the layers back to ensure there is only one frame per layer. Right click, keyframe assistant, sequence layers, go to the end, click end key, right click, and trim comp to work area. Now select the composition and place it into another composition like so. In the new comp, duplicate the layer. On the top layer, use the mask tool to mask around the face so we can keep all the black pixels in the face of this top layer. We do this because once we key out the dark red in the bottom layer, the eyes will be keyed out too, since they have darker color values like the red background. To make the animated mask easy, we track the face outline. Click Analyze Forward to track. In the layer below, right click in Effect Controls and go into Keying, Linear Color Key, and Eyedropper the background to remove it. We now have a perfect alpha channel that will save a lot of work in Photoshop. Let's add to render queue and render out the prepped 15 frames with alpha. In Photoshop, we load in the 15 keyframes with alpha, then create a new Photoshop document that's 1024 by 512 and pull all the loaded frames into it. Close the doc that we initially imported and resize all the images to fit the 1024 by 512 Photoshop document. We position the first five poses and fill the background with a solid color. We save this out as a PNG file named Canny Template 01. Hide the first five images and do the same thing for the next five images and the last five. When you're done, you'll have three PNG image files that will look like this. Now it's time to fire up Stable Diffusion and start creating images based on these image templates. I will provide a link to prompts and all settings used in Stable Diffusion and Control Net in the video description. I'll also provide links to the Canny template images built in this tutorial, as well as another set of Canny template images that I built from images generated in the first round. These second round candy template images were used to create the character walk cycle shown in the tutorial opening. Okay, so here we are in Stable Diffusion. I've already entered in the first candy template image. 
and I generated this first set of images. So these are the first five poses. Now we're going to do the same thing for the next two sets. Okay, here we are in Photoshop, and I'm going to just speed through this whole process because I've covered this already in my previous tutorial in control net and head rotations. The techniques here used in terms of removing the background and segmenting the individual images, and then doing color correction, and then finally lining them all up so they're ready to be used in After Effects for the animation. That's already been covered, and you can take a look at that previous tutorial to see the technique. So at this point, what we're going to do is move over to After Effects and set this animation up and look at the final walk cycle. Okay, here I am in After Effects, and I'm going to drag and drop the Photoshop file we set up previously. We're going to open up the composition, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a page down twice. We're going to make sure everything's selected. We're going to do an Alt and right bracket, right click, keyframe assistant, sequence layers, go to the end, hit the end key, right click, trim comp to work area, and test out the animation. Okay, so I did a little bit more color correction here in After Effects, and also added a crop around the region of interest to clean up the bottom. Once it's finally put into the shot and you spend a little bit more time, it certainly um, can look much better than this. But this should give you an idea of how to go about and create your walk cycle animation uh, in Stable Diffusion with ControlNet using those candy templates. So I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do give us a like and do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when the next tutorial becomes available. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.